Hi, I'm Natasha Leone. This is Angie Marr, and we're at the Beatrice Inn, and this is Table for Two. So today, we're gonna be making fried chicken. Yeah, every night we'll do a meal for the staff here, and fried chicken became like a favorite thing. So when we were deciding what we wanted to put on the menu late night at the bar at the Beatrice, we thought, why not do one of our favorite meals and share it with our guests? Ah, well, fried chicken is delicious. Why would you that's, not want it? Yeah, that's one yeah. of like the known <laughs> facts about the world is fried chicken is the top 10 most delicious. Exactly. Food. Tell me what's happening. So this is uh, just some kosher salt. All right, so you salted the chicken. So now we're gonna go in the flour. And then we're gonna go in the buttermilk. Okay, buttermilk. Buttermilk. Mamma mia. And then exactly. you go back in and there? And then you go back in the flour. Because oh, it's exciting. all about the breading with fried chicken, no? Shake it off, Angie. <laughs> all right, you want to do the next one? I'm dying to. Here we go. I'm taking a little tiny chicken leg. I'm putting it inside this one first. Flour, yeah. Can you see my beautiful manicure underneath there? We're shaking it off. Boom, boom. Into the buttermilk it goes. Yep. We're dipping it. We're dipping it. And then we're putting it in here, rebattering. Is that the term? Yep. Now, but look how easily. Your fingers do it like you do it all the time. Mine do it like I might, I've never, actually. I've never met a chicken <laughs> in my life, my, my fingers are saying. All right. Mine is very heavily battered. That's a good thing. All right, so one more, we're gonna do the thighs. I like dark meat, so yeah. that's what we, we only do the dark meat here, which is great. Now, would you say it's safe to say that they train you as a woman to be like, oh, you should always be like, let me get the chicken breast or something. But then you get older and you're like, you know what? Yeah. I really like the dark meat. Yeah. So oil, uh -huh. 325 degrees, and then we're just gonna drop the, ah! drop the chicken in. I know. Angie, you're so cool. Like, look at this. You're literally, I came in here today, I didn't want anything to do with cooking in my life. Angie has immediately changed my opinions about everything in my life. All I wanna do is be friends with Angie and learn how to cook. And we'll, we'll cook. I mean, this is amazing. Right. Making it look so easy. You wanna do one? I wanna do one. All right. Boom, it's in there. There you go. So we are going to leave these in here. We're gonna cook them really, really slow, about 15 minutes. That's it though. 15 minutes. When you yeah. say really, really slow, I assume you're gonna be like for four and a half hours. Oh, no, this but is then fryer. It's 15 minutes. Yeah, it's okay. Amazing. That's why I only eat fried food, because it's <laughs> very quick and delicious. All right, so chicken's been in here for about 15 minutes. Uh-huh. We're gonna take it, we're gonna let it drain. I mean, could that look more delicious, Andy? I'm just gonna salt it one more time. Do we like spice? I love spice. Done, all right. So one of my favorite things with fried chicken is a little hot honey. So, hot honey, I didn't yeah. know that was a phrase, but I like it. I mean, it is now. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go honey and then some hot sauce. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna put it on the stove and we're just gonna heat it through. Yes, please. All right, Angie, what happens now? Let's go eat. What is the polite way to uh, take the chicken? All right, so when I was growing up, yes. my dad was like, you know, you eat it. In with Seattle. Your in Seattle. Uh huh. Grunge, anyone? <laughs> uh huh. My mom, who grew up in London, was like, nope, fork and knife, whatever. But yeah. I mean, I'm just. That's how you I'm have to. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm let gonna, the record I'm show. Girl, so this a is what we're Angie, doing. the professional. Mamma mia, the chicken! I can taste not the buttermilk, not the honey, but I taste there's a full sense of all the flavors coming together in perfect oh. harmony. So a toast to chickens all over to the chickens. world. Angie, thank you. Thanks for coming. Angie really inspired me to change my entire point of view on cooking, eating, the whole situation. <laughs> well, thanks for coming in and cooking with me.